In Activity 9, Shadows Long and Short, students experiment with the length of shadows by changing the position of the light source. In doing so, students learn how shadows are made longer or shorter and infer that shadow length depends on the angle at which the light shines on the object. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 9, C-cell batteries, foam discs, flashlights, and a roll of masking tape. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 9 for each student and arrange the room so that it can be darkened as much as possible. Place two C-cell batteries in each flashlight. Each team of two will need a flashlight with batteries, a foam disc, and two strips of masking tape. To begin the activity, ask students to recall Activity 4, in which they saw that their shadows changed from morning to afternoon. They should remember that the shadows change because the sun changed its position in the sky throughout the day. Ask students, do you remember what happened to your shadow as the sun's place in the sky changed? Students may say their shadow changed or they may say it grew shorter or longer. Explain to the class that when we talk about an object's length, we mean how long or short the object is. Ask students, how do you think you can change the length of a shadow? How could you make it longer or shorter? Accept all reasonable suggestions. Next, distribute a flashlight, a foam disc, to each team of two and darken the room. Instruct students to experiment with ways to create longer and shorter shadows. Then, have them place the foam disc on their desktop and not move it. Tell students to pick up the flashlight and hold it anywhere around the disc that they want. Give each team two strips of masking tape and have them place the strips on the desktop to mark the ends of the longest shadow and the shortest shadow that they have made. Make sure to tell the class to leave the disc in the same position. Next, ask students, how did you make the longest shadow? Students should say that they held the flashlight so that it was close to the desk. Then ask, how did you make the shortest shadow? Students should respond that they held the flashlight directly above or almost directly above the object. If the students were able to hold the flashlight steady in a position directly above the foam disc, they may have noticed the disc's shadow disappear. Acknowledge this observation if the students mention it and tell them that they will explore more ways to make a shadow disappear in the next activity. Then, allow the individual teams the opportunity to show the class how they made the long and short shadows. Next, turn on the lights, give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 9, and tell the students to draw in the shadow that the flashlight would make in the two pictures at the top of the page. You will probably need to help the students draw the shadows in the correct places. Remind students that the shadow falls opposite or directly across from the light source. Students should draw a long shadow for the first picture and a short shadow for the second picture. In the same way, have the students draw the shadows for the trees at the bottom of the page. They should draw a long shadow for the first picture and a short shadow for the second picture. Next, ask students, when is the shadow of the cup longest? The shortest. Students should respond that when the flashlight is lower or closer to the desk, the shadow is longer, and when the flashlight is higher, above the cup, the shadow is shorter. Similarly, when the sun appears lower in the sky or closer to the ground, the shadow of the tree becomes longer. Conversely, when the sun appears higher in the sky, almost directly above the tree, the shadow becomes shorter. Finally, invite students to remember times when they have witnessed very long shadows outside. Ask students, at what time of day have you seen the longest shadows? Students will probably respond that the longest shadows appeared in the early morning or late afternoon, early evening. Guide students to understand that there are long shadows because the sun is low in the sky. Encourage students to recall the sundials they made in Activity 6 and ask, what happened to the length of the shadow on your sundial in the middle of the day? Students may remember that that shadow became very short and that this was because the sun was high in the sky. 
To conclude the activity, have the students return the flashlights, foam discs, and masking tape to the kit. For longer battery life, you may wish to remove the batteries from the flashlights before storing. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.